Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is actually not one of the usual ones again. And I'm just trying to document this thing that I'm trying to do. So if you notice, in the background of my videos, most of them, you'll see this guitar. And some people actually ask me why I don't use that guitar. It's not because I don't like it, but it's actually unusable. So this is my first ever electric guitar that I owned back in 2013. It's an Affinity Strat. After this guitar fell and somehow I kept using the floating tremolo and did break inside. So I couldn't use it anymore after that. The goal of this project that I'm trying to do is that I will be restoring this guitar, but not really like restore. I guess it will be building because I bought most of the replacement parts. So I don't know what you call it, but let's just call it building. All right, so what did I buy? This, it's a base wood Strat style body, black pick guard. For the electronics and the pickups, they will be having chrome, pretty cool. The knobs will also be chrome. At first, I was supposed to use the original pickups that were already in the guitar, but the problem is these ones were like the 48, 50, 52, so they had different sizes. So I did buy Alnico 5 pickups that had the same size or measurements as those. And of course, since it's a single coil pickups, you can just change the covers. So they will be having chrome. I got copper tape for shielding. The original parts that I'll be keeping from the guitar, the bridge, the springs and all of that, output jack, the pots, the switch. The neck will also stay as is. If you'll notice like me wearing different clothes during the entire video, that's because this will be done in a series of days and not just in one day because I don't think I could <laughs> do it like that. It's actually gonna be my first time building a guitar. Pray for me, I'll get this right. So yeah, let's begin. Alright, so first I'm gonna have to disassemble the guitar. I know, I know, I don't have a drill right now. I'll be using one later. So as you can see, it does not look good at all. It actually looks worse inside. But for my guide, I did find a file online that might help me with the holes for this area. Tried to put braces here before, sort of metal thing to help it, but that didn't do the job. Tried to scrape this area to make it more flat, but it did not help too, so yeah. Let's figure this out. So I did figure out this goes to the neck, the middle, and then the bridge. So I'm gonna desolder the pickups with my trusty soldering gun. Don't worry guys, I'm an electronics engineering student. I think I know how to handle this. So I got the three pickups out. Again, I'm not actually trying to upgrade the strat. That's why if you notice, uh, you don't really see like full-size pots in here. For now, it's more of like a restoring effort, if you will. So I got out the rest of the electronic components. Volume, tone, and tone. So here's the bare pickup guard. I still have no idea what I'm doing. Let's keep going. I have my chrome covers here. Looks beautiful, huh? I think that looks good, right? Still have no idea what I'm doing, but I feel like I'm doing it well. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my. I'm gonna have to put all the electronics back in and see if it's gonna be a success. Eh, see if it's gonna be a success. Disclaimer, I am not a guitar technician by any means and I barely watched any videos prior to building this. So this is really a discovery project. I guess I'm gonna have to peel this off the first like layer or something. It's pretty smart, huh? One eye is outside and the other one is looking at the screw itself going in. Accidentally inverted it, so I did put it back in the proper orientation. Pickups are installed. Done, so doing this. Time to install the knobs. So here's the sort of finished chrome and black pick guard. Yeah, looks cool. So I'm having a bit of a problem. The neck don't exactly fit. I'm just gonna file just a bit from here and here. Hopefully it's gonna work. Some of you might disagree to what I'm doing. It's the only way now. I think it looks good. And now we got 
the drill. I'm gonna have to choose the right drill bit for this. <laughs> Thing that I'll be doing is the bridge. Hopefully, I'll get this right. Okay, so it doesn't look bad. It seems straight enough. So that's how it looks so far. The next will be the output jack. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm gonna have to drill two holes here. Part of the journey. At least you tried something. Okay, not too shabby. It's time to add the springs. So I'm sort of done. I'm just gonna put two springs for now. Not planning to have a back cover, so I'll leave that exposed. So I just placed a really small um, hole that goes out here for the tremolo earth. We're gonna have an, a wire go through here. Literally about to rain. This actually looks really good. Better than I expected. So right now, I'm gonna try to drill holes for the neck. And I did draw some lines to do some weird estimations. I think this one might be right. And I don't know yet, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, for some reason, I almost broke the wood. I think that was too near the edge. I guess it's a sign. And I have to just make newer holes. At this point, I'm just eyeballing everything right now. Take two, let's see how this will go. Based on estimations only. How, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. This is so dumb. Oh my gosh. I may have broke the thing. As you can see, there's a crack in here, but I think I can fix that. I'll just try to go on the other side and see if it'll work. All right, for the moment of truth, to drill a new hole, that was the goal. See if I could follow it up. So the first one was a success. So I was able to finally put two screws, which is actually pretty good because it's diagonal. I guess the two others are now set. So the next step is to drill the rest of the holes. I just put a bit of liquid nails to stop the crack from forming. So here it is, sort of successful. Hey guys, so it's another day and some changes I do want to make. First, I said that I was going to have a black on black. I realized that it would be better to just have a sort of wood color. So the reason why is because I want to make it obvious that it was a built guitar, not just some other common guitars that you can find in the stores. I'm going to be looking for wood stains and see if we can find the one that I really like. So we're here at Wilcon. Stop the goods. Yeah, it's another beautiful day and it's time to do the wood staining. But before that, I have to sand the guitar first. So I'm gonna be using a 220 and just sand the whole thing. I mean, it's already pretty smooth, but better to be safe than sorry. So, all right, let's get to it. Don't mind this. This is actually what I'll be using to hang this thing. All right, so this is my unconventional way of hanging the body for wood stain. The wood stain that I chose is actually from Boysen, the walnut. I wanted a very dark brown look. Hopefully, this will go well. I mean, if you look at it so far, I think it doesn't look bad at all. This is actually just the first coat, but actually looking pretty good. It's been a couple of hours since I got the first coat. I'm gonna be applying the second coat right now. And I also decided to stain the headstock because I want the colors to match or at least get really close to matching. Let's get to it. I also realized that I did not mix the stain properly a while ago. That's why it seemed too light, but now I understand. I didn't mix it properly. So this is how it looks so far. What do you guys think? Next attempt for the headstock. So here's the result. And now we wait for 24 hours before we get back to this madness over here. 
Alright, so it's been a couple of days since the last clip. The body is already stained and dried. What I'll be doing is applying a clear coat or polyurethane on the body. It already has been light sanded beforehand. Yeah, hopefully this goes well. Alright, so I think the first coat is done and as you can see, it's actually looking pretty good. I'll be applying around three coats for this one. I'll wait for a couple of hours and get back to spraying more coats. So I'm just leaving it here in this DIY hanger. Very dangerous, but I guess it helps. Here's how it looks so far with the second coat. Right, so now we're done with the guitar body. It's time to put back all the components and see how good it plays. A little quick correction. The neck is supposed to go here and the bridge will go here. I noticed that I inverted it and it has been fixed. So it's been a couple of days since this guitar has been touched, probably five days. And you can actually tell because my hairstyle is different. And don't mind my orange tongue. Yeah, just drank orange juice. Anyways, it's time to put back the components on the guitar and see if it sounds good. Still got a lot of soldering to do, especially here. And also here in the ground. Oh, I'm so dumb, I actually forgot. Before I continue, I need to shield the cavity of the guitar. Pro tip that I heard is that by folding a piece, the conductive side will touch the other conductive side. It makes it more effective. To prove my point, so this folded, put this over here. And there you go. Continuity. Now that I've connected everything, all I have to do now is put the pick guard back in its place and screw it in. Here's the body of the guitar so far. Now it's time to put back the neck. So this is how the guitar looks so far. Time to put some fresh strings and set the intonation and its tuning and hopefully it'll sound good. I will first be putting um, one string and then connecting it to an amp to see if it actually makes a sound because I don't wanna restring the whole thing and thinking that it's all good right if one of my electronics aren't working. All right, for the moment of truth, one string. Yes! <gasps> right, so just a little tweaking of the electronics and put all the strings together. So here's the guitar with the strings on. It's actually looking pretty good, as you can see. I just haven't tuned it yet properly and fixed the intonation and the action, but as I was restringing it, I also realized that the bridge centeredness and the neck aren't actually the same as you can tell here. It's too much on one side, it's supposed to be something like that. But it's actually still playable, as you can see. So this is really where it shows that I really have lack of experience when it comes to building guitars. But that's okay for me as long as it's playable, then it's fine. In the next shot, hopefully you should be seeing me play this guitar. Right now we'll be having the sound test. So first we'll start with the clean tones. <laughs> Next, let's try the dirty tones. There you have it, that is the sound test for this guitar and I'm actually really happy with how this turned out to be. It's actually really good for a first guitar build. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed building this guitar. Again, I really had fun and hopefully that will translate through this video. All the stress and struggle is worth it because this is what it resulted in. Thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay safe everyone and peace!